Good afternoon, fam. It's Robert Boyd coming at you with another book report. As uh, as Hurricane Beta uh, rumbles forward, and we're getting a lot of rain here right now, I happen to have a book that has a perfectly appropriate title. Meditations in an Emergency by Frank O'Hara. It's a short book of poems, and... Um, I read some Frank O'Hare before, but not that much. Uh, and I actually gave a lecture on one of his poems in regards to some other stuff. It was actually uh, about, I was lecturing about um, the Munoz and Sampaio comic, Billy Holiday. And when I mentioned to a friend that I was given, gonna give this lecture, he, he mentioned to me that there was a, a uh, well-known Frank O'Hare poem, The Day Lady Died which is about Billie Holiday, of course. And um, and it's it's a very moving poem because it's it's about sort of ordinary day-to-day -day stuff and then having like a deeply emotional reaction to, to hearing Billie Holiday singing. It's not in Meditations in an Emergency, um, which was published in 1957. So I'm, I'm guessing the poems are from 1956, 1955. It's not a very long book. Anyway, Frank O'Hara was a um, a poet who uh, came out of um, came out of Harvard and um, had a pretty elite education and everything. But um, so he was the opposite of a beat poet. He was very well educated, and but he came into New York and uh, in the early fifties and immediately got involved with the uh, the art scene. And there's another book I'm going to mention it right now because I'm going to refer to it. Called Ninth Street Women, which I highly recommend. Which is a uh, a group biography of Lee Krasner, Elaine de Kooning, Grace Hartigan, Joan Mitchell, and Helen Frankenthaler. And even though it's about those five women, it really it's got it's like a Russian novel. It's got a million characters, and Frank O'Hara is one of the main characters because he's involved in in. A bunch of them their lives especially uh grace hardigan and that comes up again in one of his poems which is uh entitled let's see if i can write to great for grace after a party and um frank o'hara was, was 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 gay but it seems like he was in love with grace hardigan um in some way they had a long relationship that never was sexual, and and at, according to the ninth, the biography of Ninth Street Women, he asked her if she wanted to sleep with him at one point, and she said, "No, let's let it's good what we've got now. Let's let's not spoil it." And uh, the uh, biographer thinks and that perhaps she's thinking because in the time that they knew each other, each had had boyfriends that had come and gone, and. So Grace probably thought, yeah, th this 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 works for me. But if you read read this poem, it sounds like uh, they're going to a party, and they go, and then uh, he makes her her eggs. So it's like she stayed the night, or he stayed the night and uh, fixed breakfast. Anyway, his poems are are kind of lighthearted and and often whimsical and funny, and. Uh, I, I do want to touch on, uh, like, this one poem. It's about a, you know, a guy, he gets a note on the door. And um, and then he goes to, to meet up with the person who left him the note. And then uh, at, towards the end, it says, What a host, so zealous. And he was there in the hall, flat on a sheet of blood that ran down the stairs. I did appreciate it. There are few hosts who so thoroughly prepare to greet a guest only casually invited, and that several months ago. So it's gruesome, but I thought it was funny. Um, and uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually flip through a couple of these. Um, so uh, he writes about, uh, he, he, you can tell he's got his enthusiasm. So he writes a lot about music um, and, uh, and other art, um, mentioning, um, you know, uh, Saint Sans, um, Rachmaninoff, one of the poems is, is to Rachmaninoff. Uh, and this, this poem, Three Penny Opera, has these lines. Um, 
But Polly, are you a shadow? Is Mackie projected to me by light through films? Uh, through film? If I'd been in Berlin in 1930, would I have seen you ambling down the streets like Crazy Cat? Which I, I appreciated. Um, but uh, there's a series of poems about Jane. And, and Jane, I believe, is uh, Jane Freelicker, who was also another painter around uh, in the city at the same time that the, the painters uh, written about in Ninth Street Women. Although she wasn't a, an abstractionist like all those women were, and so he, he uh, and and um, in the one that uh, that mentions Saint Saints, he uh, he writes uh, is called Che Jane, and it, it's sort of about her apartment and her cat, um, who uh, who he describes as a, a tiger, and. Uh, and uh, they're listening to Saint Saint, so I'm, I'm, to me that implies that they're listening to the Carnival of the Animals, but it really could be anything. He writes about James Dean. Oh, and here's a good one. I'm going to read this whole one because I thought it was it was really good. It's called Radio. Why do you play such dreary music on Saturday afternoon when tired, mortally tired? I long for a little reminder of immortal energy. All week long, I trudge fatiguingly from desk to desk in the museum, and you spill uh, you spilled your miracles of Grieg and Honegger on shut-ins. Am I not a shut-in too? And after a week of work, don't I deserve Prokofia? Well, I have my beautiful de Kooning to aspire to. I think it has an orange bed in it, more than the ear can hold. I, you know, it, it speaks to a different era when, uh, you were kind of stuck with what was available on the radio at that moment, and um, and he was not hearing what he wanted to hear. Um. Anyway, that's uh that's Frank O'Hara, um, a great American poet, died young at the age of forty after being struck by what's been described many places as a dune buggy in Fire Island. Um. Which is, you know, a tragedy. He would have had a great long life, like John Ashbery, his, his contemporary. But he left a bunch of really good poems, and he had a huge effect on on the world of art uh, in New York City. The way uh, I, I, I it's kind of worth describing in Ninth Street Woman. Uh, well, sorry, I was actually looking for the exact um, passage, but I couldn't find it. But he was. I, I don't. I, I hesitate to use the word cheerleader because it sounds like, um, you know, the kind of thing you, you describe a reviewer who only writes good reviews. But he was a cheerleader, and he kept them from like, a, according to the biography, which uh, you know is one person's point of view. But from everything I've read, he kept many artists from like despairing, from giving up, and that's that's an amazing thing. The art world needs people like Frank O'Hara to help artists survive. And uh, if at the same time, those people can also be great artists themselves in their own right, that's a wonderful thing. And Meditations in an Emergency was a wonderful book. Oh, and let me mention one more thing. This is gonna sound really ridiculous. The reason I got it was that uh, there's a scene in Mad Men, the TV show where, um, Don Draper is at a bar, and there's kind of a beatnik-looking guy who's sitting there reading it at the bar, which is something I would do. Um, and uh, and Draper asks about it, and the, the beatnik guy says, oh, I, I don't know if you'd be interested, which is, you know, a, a reasonable brush off. But uh, Don ends up getting a copy, copy, reading it, and then sending it to his friend in Los Angeles. Anyway... For some reason, that stuck in my mind, and uh, I, I ordered a copy and got it, and I'm glad I read it. Thanks very much.